In January 2012, incoming Chairman Frank Weidman congratulated former Chamber Chairwoman Kami Patterson for her service and assumed the position of Chairman of the Greenwood Chamber. A highlight of the evening was when Dusty Schultz was inducted into the Greenwood County Hall of Fame. Caroline Nave of Park Sterling Bank was honored as Ambassador of the Year. The award was presented by Carolina Health Center's President, Sue Veer. Board member Claire Cool of VNR Consulting was honored with the Chairman's Award for her outstanding service to the organization over the past six years. Additionally, she served as the Festival of Flowers Chairwoman in 2012 and will serve as Chairwoman of the Board in 2014, the Chamber's Centennial Year. The fourth annual Run Your Ice Off race was held on a chilly Saturday morning in February. The event offered a 5K and an 8K race to over 85 area runners and health enthusiasts. In 2013, the Chamber will offer a half marathon race on May 4th to attract runners from the Greenwood area and across the state. A variety of advocacy events were held to educate members and to learn about issues and legislation. In March, the Greenwood CPW and CenturyLink hosted the Chamber's annual legislative breakfast. Delegation members were on hand to respond to questions and provide updates on pertinent legislation affecting business. Davis and Floyd presented the Chamber's annual Hill Talk Breakfast in September, featuring Congressman Jeff Duncan. Both city and county leaders offered presentations to update business leaders regarding the challenges and opportunities. Also in September, the South Carolina Chamber visited and offered a grassroots education session to discuss issues of importance to our members. Through our participation with the Upstate Chamber Coalition, Greenwood is a member of a 12-chamber coalition of upstate chambers who advance a pro-business legislative agenda. In the fall, the Chamber sponsored candidate forums. Since several county and state positions were open, the Chamber did not miss its opportunity to educate our members and the public about the candidates and their positions. Former State Senator John Drummond was on hand to listen to the candidates and support the elections process. The Chamber recruited Lisa Sanders of First Citizens Bank as the Chairwoman of the 2012 Total Resource Campaign, joined with her Vice Chairs Jerry Stevens and Harold Price. The theme of their campaign was Dr. Seuss's Oh, the Places You Will Go. The annual initiative garnered the support of over 40 Chamber volunteers. They promoted the Chamber to other members and offered sponsorship and advertising opportunities. A modest goal of $165,000 was set for the year. However, our overly enthusiastic volunteers raised approximately $220,000 to support Chamber programs and initiatives. The Self Regional Healthcare Team, otherwise known as the Chamber Heads in Paradise, garnered the top team again for the third year under the leadership of Team Captain Harold Price. The overall top individual producer was Sharon L. Wood of Xerox Morris Business Solutions, who produced almost $15,048 in sales. The Rookie of the Year Award was given to first timer April Cornelson of the Self Medical Group. The campaign offers volunteers the opportunity to meet new business owners, connect with each other, and share in a fun-filled trip to an exotic destination. Take a look at these excited volunteers. They can't wait to pack their bags. Quarterly membership receptions were held throughout the year to welcome and orient our newest members to the Greenwood Chamber. In 2012, 73 new members were recruited into the organization. Of this number, 58 were recruited in the Spring TRC campaign. And if our success with the Total Resource campaign was not enough, the Women's Leadership Council totally exceeded our expectations. The inaugural Women's Leadership Upstate Regional Conference, presented by Old Main Catering, was held in March, attracting 250 energetic and enthusiastic women from Greenwood and the surrounding seven county area. Participants were motivated by three keynote speakers and offered a variety of professional development topics. Under the direction of co-chairs Mamie Nicholson and Phyllis Nolan, a regional team was recruited to plan the event. Co-chairs Mamie and Phyllis celebrated at the end of the day-long conference. The second annual conference is planned for October of this year. WLC also continued to offer quarterly meetings, social events, and WLC flash meetings. 
the group provided leadership training scholarships to area high school students and again recognized outstanding women leaders. This past fall, three women were recognized during the third annual Women of Excellence Awards program. Honorees included Shirley Cheek with the Trailblazer Award, Donna Boyajian with the Catalyst Award, and Betty Cobb with the Sustainer Award. In June, the Chamber again saluted its small business owners. For the fifth year, the Chamber nominated four companies for statewide recognition in the U.S. Small Business Administration's awards program. Greenwood swept the awards, with all four being named statewide recipients. Sandy McLean of Sugar Boutique was not only the youngest award winner being honored as the Young Entrepreneur of the Year, but she also won in her division in an eight-state Southeast Regional competition. John Holloway of Sundance Gallery was also recognized as the Greenwood Chamber's Small Business Person of the Year, joining an elite group of business owners. Duke Energy's Theo Lane also presented a Citizenship and Service Award to a deserving outstanding citizen. Bruce White, a volunteer at the Food Bank of Greenwood, was surprised and honored with the award. The Chamber once again supported the 45th Annual Festival of Flowers. This year's festival attracted 86,500 visitors and had an economic impact of $4.5 million for the Greenwood community in 2012. Plans are underway in 2013 to develop a separate governing board for the festival. Festival lovers and supporters are encouraged to get involved. The fall continued to be busy for the Greenwood Chamber as we saw new retail businesses opening, local business expansions, and new services being offered. Developing a skilled workforce continues to be a top priority for the Chamber. The Workforce Committee was reconvened in 2012 with a specific goal to make Greenwood County a work-ready community. Business and education leaders continue to meet along with the three public school superintendents to achieve this goal. The Leadership Greenwood class of 2012 was comprised of 24 community leaders. The class participated in an eight-month leadership training program with monthly topics consisting of educational days for community, industry, health care, law enforcement, culture, government, education, and economic development. While touring the Lander campus, class members stopped to take a photo with the Lander Bearcat. Leadership Greenwood alums gathered over the summer to network and ensure top recruits for the class of 2013. Connect YP continued to be active in 2012, targeting young leaders between the ages of 21 and 40. Under the leadership of Rob Johnson of Self Regional Healthcare, the group hosted several social events, including their Casino Royale fundraiser that benefited two local nonprofit agencies and a high gravity beer tasting event. The group's signature event, the Greenwood Under 40 Stars Awards Luncheon, recognized 10 outstanding young leaders for their efforts in the Greenwood community. Special thanks to the 2012 corporate CYP sponsors, Capsagel, Elliott Davis LLC, Self Regional Healthcare, and Walmart. For the second year, Leadership Greenwood graduates Shauna Vines and Eric Sorensen headed the Match Your Mission Volunteer Fair. Held at Wesley Commons, the event attracted 35 local nonprofit organizations who were seeking volunteers. Volunteers were able to talk to representatives to match their passions and sign up to volunteer. The nonprofit council supported Match Your Mission and also sponsored its annual National Volunteer Week recognition program in April. Quarterly meetings were held throughout the year on topics such as board recruitment, governance, and board rules. The council launched a nonprofit connection and resource meeting to connect nonprofits and to share information about services for the community. The fifth annual Super Networking Night was held in September at the newly renovated multi-purpose room at Piedmont Technical College. Presented by Altel, this popular event attracted an all-time high crowd of over 600 and featured 100 exhibitors. Attendees were treated to door prizes from participating vendors, food from area restaurants and caterers, and a grand prize drawing of a 42-inch color TV. Media coverage was also expanded, utilizing media partners GreenwoodToday.com, The Index Journal, Northland Communications, 
and Sunny 103.5 Radio. In 2013, plans are underway to create additional attendee parking and possible bus transportation to accommodate the crowds. The fourth annual Grape Stomp Wine Tasting was held in Uptown Greenwood in October. A dozen merchants opened their doors and offered refreshments and wine to Grape Stomp patrons. A group of Leadership Greenwood class members and volunteers worked the event, pouring wine and greeting guests. The event attracted over 225 wine tasters who had a delightful time sampling 12 wines and two beers and delicious hors d'oeuvres. In its third year, the golf tournament exceeded its attendance and revenue figures. Hosted by the Lynx at Stony Point and presented by AT&T, over 100 golfers enjoyed a beautiful November day. Again, a woman's flight was offered and four women's teams competed for the top prize. Over $16,000 was raised to benefit chamber programs. Get your clubs ready this year because the competition is heating up. Continuing to provide value-added member benefits continues to be a top priority. In December, the Chamber produced and distributed a new full-color roadmap, which offered advertising to our member businesses. Additionally, the quarterly Greenwood Business Report magazine was recognized as the outstanding printed newsletter in North and South Carolina by the Carolina Association of Chamber of Commerce Executives. The Chamber continued its successful business after hours programs. Hosted by Chamber member companies, monthly networking nights were held offering business leaders an opportunity to promote their services and products to other professionals, further business relationships, and mingle with new potential contacts. Sponsoring companies included Self Regional Healthcare, Greenwood Regional Rehabilitation Hospital, Kurtz Pool and Hearth and the Pantry Shop, Northland Communications and T.W. Boone's, Grand Harbor and Justice Builders, Gary Rush Chevrolet Cadillac and Lee's Barbecue and Catering, Piedmont Technical College, Greenwood Communities and Resorts and the Greenwood Building, and CenturyLink and the Gatewood Club. Several educational forums were held to brief the business community on various topics. The Business Over Breakfast and Business Over Lunch programs featured expert speakers on healthcare, education, regional air service, and the health of Lake Greenwood. As your Greenwood Chamber continues to move forward into 2013, the Board of Directors is dedicated to a strategic vision, which has the organization focusing on key areas of importance to its members and the community. Growing community leaders, strengthening business and industry, advocating for pro-business issues, and delivering value to our members. Under each of these areas are numerous programs and events geared towards improving the business climate and quality of life in Greenwood. 2013 is also an exciting year for the Chamber as preparations begin for our centennial celebration in 2014. We invite you to join us as we start our second century of service as Greenwood's champion for business and advocate for the community.